Welcome to another uh, Time of Reflection. So uh, this month we're going to look at our life. We're going to look at the fact that sometimes our life does not always uh, end up or look like the way that we really uh, thought we would have. And I must say that uh, many of these reflections I'm talking to myself and I'm coming at you from my own experience because I think uh, there's power in story, there's power in um, seeing that other people have maybe experienced what you're have experienced or even going through what you're going through. And so this month I wanted to look at our lives and how what we thought our lives would look like is one thing compared to what it looks like now. So there you go. So let's talk about it. At the age I'm at, I never thought I would be where I am. Not a bad thing, just a thought. You know, when we grew up in our thir in our 20s and 30s, we had these uh, plans. We had this life plan. You know, sometimes people say, you know, um, make your plan, tell God about it, and God probably laughs at it. And that probably is true. Um, but I never thought my life would be like it is uh, right now. But what I've come to realize is that with God in my life, there have been times in which I thought this was better for me than this, and it turned out that this really was better than this because God was in this part. And anytime I've tried to do things my own, anytime I've made plans my own, um, and it didn't work out, a lot of times because I made those plans apart from God. And so, yeah, we're disappointed. I mean, you know, you know, when I was pastoring, actively pastoring at one point in my life, I had a five-year plan. I wanted the church to be a particular way within five years. And when it wasn't there in five years, I got really depressed. My board was concerned. I ended up going on antidepressants for a while. But eventually I realized, you know what? It's all part of God's bigger plan. So you and I might not be where we want to be, but I'm sure we're not where we used to be. And it's the process. It's the journey. We have to re remember that God has great plans for us. Uh, Isaiah tells us uh, that God says, I know the plans I have for you, plans for your welfare and not for your harm. So as we begin to reflect on what our lives look like now and what we want them to look like. Let's not be discouraged. Let's be excited about the plans that God has for us. Let us find a joy in the things that we have around us right now. Uh, find contentment right now because the blessings are all around us and sometimes we miss those blessings because we're trying to keep up with the Joneses because we look at other people's lives and we assume that their life is all together. Why isn't our life all together too? We just don't know what happens behind closed doors in their lives. So I encourage all of us, myself included, to find the joys, to find the blessings in life that God has given to us right now in this moment. So I invite you to join me on this journey as we reflect on this together, and maybe we'll learn something from each other. Feel free to pass this on to other people. I, I pray that this time together will be a blessing for all of us. Take care, and God bless.